this is the question that came in. I uh, didn't want to, every night between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m., we see resource managers setting the maintenance plan as well as weekends. We've seen during this time, slower response time compared to non-maintenance resource plan in effect. Can I disable the windows so we get the same response time for the whole week? And this is what the person is proposing and doing. So what's going on? Ever since, oh, 10.2, maybe 11, Oracle 11. Back in 10.2, was probably the first release where the database started doing things on your behalf. Uh, people will probably remember a thing called gather stats job, which was a scheduler job that just magically appeared in, 10, in version 10, which would do stats each night. And then what happened was in, Oracle 11, um, we took that to the next level. What we did was we introduced this thing called automatic tasks. And it's one of those awkward things because you didn't see anything in scheduler jobs that looked clean. And so you thought, well, nothing's going on in the background. But this thing called automatic tasks came along. There was zero documentation in Oracle 11 about them, which was a bit of a bummer. Now it's fully documented in Oracle 12 and onwards, but it's been there since Oracle 11. And what happens is that each night during what we call these maintenance windows, we start doing stuff on your behalf. One of them is gathering stats. The other one you can see on the screen is we have an automatic space advisor and a SQL tuning advisor. So we go ahead and we do some stuff and then really it's designed to make your database, um, dare I say, autonomous. But effectively it's for those environments where DBAs generally don't have a lot of time to look after them. Um, and I use the example of your average DBA, you know, in, in the good old days, your DBA, you got given two databases to look after. And then as the process became easier, you know, no one said, well, you got more free time. Everyone said, there's another 500 databases to look after. So what happens is I find most DBAs, and this has been the story of my working life as well, I've got a couple of same mission critical ones. So they're the ones I spend a lot of time looking very carefully at and very carefully tuning and, and being much more hands-on. And I've got 400 other databases that are just lead to departmental kind of things, you know, that, you know, performance, 10 users, very low volume, et cetera. So I don't want to be bothered doing custom DBMS stats routine and, and customize this and customize that and a lot of hands-on stuff. I'll just leave all the defaults set. And that's what this is designed to do. It's a, a hands-off approach to looking after those databases that perhaps don't need that absolute utmost in optimal care. We gather stats, we do space tuning and, and stuff like that. And when does it happen? It all happens during these things called windows and it's the normal scheduler object of a window that we create. So those windows by default, out of the box, assume that you're running a business hours system. So out of the box, your windows are 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Monday to Friday and all over the weekend. And that's probably the first thing you'll wanna maybe look at and looking at changing if you're on a, I say a 24 seven system. You may have a quiet period. I worked at a, um, a gambling website for a long time. During the night was when people were most busy you know, they're, they're, at, they're betting on a lot of overseas sporting events and stuff like that in Australia. So we changed our windows, but I'll show you the script I did shortly, um, such that it wouldn't be doing that workload during those periods of time. If you're not using any of this stuff, hopefully everyone's using automatic stats collection. You've got to gather stats. And if you want to turn off stats collection, you would actually do it at a much more granular level. You know, lock those particular tables, lock that schema, et cetera. But you want the stats job always to be running because it's going to be doing very, very useful stuff. But if you're not using the space advisor or the SQL tuning advisor in any way, shape or form, you could actually choose to disable them. That's an option you could look at exploring. The reason I say doing possibly using it this way is the question that came in was, can I just change the windows to change the resource plan? I don't think that's actually going to do a lot of benefit. The window is still going to come active and it's still going to effectively be using resources. The reason your system is slowing down is not because it's disabling other stuff. It's simply burning a lot of IO, most probably, to doing these particular tasks. So if you're not using the Space Advisor, for example, you may choose to actually disable it. Um, the optimized one, I'd say everyone is using. If you want to be absolutely brutal, you could actually disable the entire maintenance window group. That simply turns off all the maintenance stuff altogether. I wouldn't recommend that. That's a bad idea. Um, and in particular, that's one of those things that could be easily forgotten. And obviously, as each version of Oracle comes along, and more tasks come along and more goodies come into those maintenance windows and you're not touching them, that's probably a bad idea. And especially if you then go log a call with Oracle saying, I've got this problem, you know, I've got a bad execution plan. And they go, oh yeah, you haven't collected stats for three years. Then you're going to look a bit foolish. So I wouldn't recommend disabling, but I'm just letting you know it is possible to disable these at a task basis or even at an entire window basis. This is what I did at the place I was working where 
during the night was actually a busy night. And during the weekend, when there's a lot of sport activities on and horse racing and stuff, that people gamble a lot. Australia is the biggest gambling nation on earth, which shows how morally bereft we are. Not to worry. So this is what we did. We said, okay, rather than having our maintenance window going from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. every single night, we changed it to start at 5 a.m. And you can see this is what you do. You set attributes on the actual window itself. So for the Monday window, so for the Monday window, for the Monday window, we start at 5 a.m. by hour being equal five. So we started at 5 a.m. when most of the overnight sport in Europe has completed. And then we changed it rather than being four hours long. That's the next slide. We changed the duration to being a two hour interval. So for us, we said, we're not prepared to suck up four hours every single evening and almost all the weekend doing maintenance jobs. You know, the impact could potentially be on our system very large. So what we did was we said, we'll go Monday to Friday, 5 a.m. till 7 a.m. And when 7 a.m. people start working again, so we want it to quiet down and only for a two hour period. So we've halved the amount of time. You might be thinking, well, how do I decide? What, you know, do I need four hours? Do I need six hours? What, you know, what's the best balance? Those of you, I think, called DBA auto, auto Task Client. And what that is, is one row for each of those automatic tasks that are running. Um, stats job, et cetera, et cetera. So DBA Auto Task Client, we have the client name, which will be optimizer job, SQL tuning advisor, et cetera. But also we have, for example, how much CPU has it used over the last seven days? What's the maximum duration over the last seven days? So if my auto stats job is running for, say, 30 minutes, then obviously I can reduce my window to say 45 minutes or an hour, safe in the knowledge that it probably isn't going to force this thing to prematurely to stop. So to answer this person's question is, I'll keep the maintenance window on, looking at shifting it to perhaps a different time slot, which is a quieter period. Have a look at seeing, are you getting value out of each of the tasks, in particular the auto task for space advisor and SQL tuning. If you're not, maybe look at disabling them or shrinking their windows down. Um, keep the optimizer stats one. Don't disable the whole lot and hopefully that's gonna help you out.